So let's talk about how to graph vertical and horizontal lines by just jumping right into it. Okay, so notice why this is kind of weird. I say graph y equals three. There's no x in this, so it just says graph y equals three. And this always throws people off when, when given this question, and I see them do all kinds of crazy things. So I actually think the easiest way to convince your brain of what to do is to force yourself to make a table. And guess what? You know what the y coordinate's going to be for the entirety of this table. Look at it, three. This is what this means, three. Uh, it means that no matter what, your y has to be three. So what does x have to be? X can be literally anything that you want. So I'm gonna choose negative one, zero, and one. So now I have three points that I can go ahead and graph. So let's go ahead and do this. So here's negative one, three, here's zero, three, and here's one, three. So now you can see that this is actually a horizontal line. So like that, that would be how we would graph that. So now let's pivot to x equals negative two and let's just use the same technique. And I'm telling you, like I see people do lots of crazy things when really like if you're trying to convince yourself of the answer, just go back to a table and remind yourself no matter what, X has to be negative two. So you can just fill that in for those three points. And then you can choose literally anything you want for Y. So I'm gonna choose the same thing, negative one, zero, and one. So if I graph these, so if I, if I graph these, so I've got negative two, negative one, negative two, zero, and negative two, one. So there are my three points. And now I can see this actually creates, let's see if I can get this to work. This creates a vertical line. Okay. So now we kind of know the, the gist of this. So, so how do you know if a line will be horizontal? So the thing about horizontal lines, if you look at this, it's, it's going to have this y equals. So horizontal lines have the form y equals a number. So I put y equals b. b can stand for whatever number that you want. And how do you know if a line will be vertical? So again, just going back and, and reviewing this here, so notice this was x equals two and it gave us a vertical line. So for a vertical line, you just have to have this form x equals a, where a again can be like any number that you want. So I, I actually, I always say I have the memory of a hamster. <laughs> Might actually be a disservice to hamsters by me saying that, but I have a terrible memory. So remembering which one of these is gonna be vertical or horizontal, I can't, I'm not very good at remembering. But by drawing the table, this is like a foolproof way to make sure that I have drawn the line correctly. So just for funsies here, I have two examples. You can pause the video here, try them out, and then hit play when you're ready. Okay, so for A here, so no matter what, your X's have to be four. So here's where an X is four, here's where an X is four, and here's where my X is four. So I chose three different Y coordinates. As long as my X is four, I'm good to go. So here's my vertical line. And then for my Y equals negative one. So I just have to choose three points. As long as my Y is negative one, I'm good to go. So I can see that horizontal line. And so that's it. This pops up all the time though. So you're gonna have to just kind of convince yourself of this and, and practice this a little bit. But nice quick explanation, so hopefully that was helpful, guys. I'll catch you next time.